All right, gentlemen, listen up. Get ready to put down your next assignment regarding the current literature we are reading. Oh, brother! Tomorrow, we will be continuing our group reading on William Shakespeare, The Comedy of Errors. You must prepare for the by reading the text from scenes 1 to 3 from Act 2. I can see some citizenship points being given to those who can memorize the majority of the text word for word. This text will appear on the test coming this week. Class dismissed. But before you go, I must caution you. Be careful of going over to the girls' school building. There is a big bark going around over there. The teachers can't have any more students getting sick. I advise you to go straight home. You may go. There's a bug going around, huh? I wonder how bad it is. It must be really bad if all the girls in the school are getting sick. You think Toby knows anything about it? Anything that happened? Not sure. I haven't seen her all day. I better call her right now. <coughs> hey, Jace. Toby? You don't sound so good. Yeah, I kind of cold this morning. I was afraid of that. There was a bug going around the girls' school like a wildfire. Looks like it got you too. Good thing it's just a cold and not the flu. That feels ten times worse for me anyway. Terry and Jody also got sick. Oh my. I bet you're being spoiled by your mom and dad. I sure am. Ice cream always makes everything better after you've taken that nasty medicine. So I guess you stayed at home all day. Mom is pretty much the caretaker since Dad is the one that works. She has confined me to the bed all day, which is fine. I just can't wait for this to blow over so I can get back to my detective work. Hey Vic, do you want to say anything to Toby? Hey Toby, I hope you feel better. Thank you. That makes me feel better. <laughs> you want me to come over and check up on you? Yeah. I'm sure you could use some company right now. We would be glad to come and visit you for a few minutes. No, I would hate for you two to get sick after being around me. You don't want my girl germs, do you? No way! What? <laughs> I understand. Please get well soon. Wait, before you two go, I just thought of something. I'm obviously in no condition to look into any potential cases today. However, I think I can trust you and Vic to do something for me. Do you have some notebook paper on you right now, Jason? Write this down. Okay, I'm ready. This note says, Need help. Meet me at the biggest house with the biggest flower. Signed, Anonymous. Okay, I got it. What's this anonymous message about, I wonder? I'm not sure, but whoever sent it to me needs help immediately, according to the note. Of course, I happened to get the note before I go to bed last night, and now I have this stupid cold. My mom won't even let me leave, so I can't find the biggest house. What about Gary and Joe? They are also under quarantine when I last checked on them. The three of us cannot let this case go to waste. Then I thought of you and Vic. You could try and solve the case. It'd be great practice for the both of you. Hold on. I don't know anything about sleeping. And I just copied down this message. 
What am I going to do about this? Besides, I've only followed you on your recent adventure. That's why I want Vic to help you. He's been with me plenty of times, so he's got some experience. Hmm. Okay, Toby. I'll see if I can figure it out. Great. Hope it all goes well. I think I'm gonna take a nap now. Talk to you later. Same to you. Vic? I think we are going to need some help. Let's go back to my place and get my brother. <laughs> hey Roscoe, did you miss me? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Hey, little brother, I thought you were going to help me walk the dog around the neighborhood. Sorry, Matt. I had to call a friend at school. It was something urgent. Let me guess. It was that Toby girl, was it? You stole me the time after the two of you got into the Oreos during your little set project. Hey, she didn't know that half the stash was your cookies. Looks like you need to keep an eye on your territory. Just tell me what you're screaming up to this time. Toby got an anonymous message, and I think it would be great if you can help us out. Whoa, hold inside them. Do you remember what happened last time you and I got involved in two eyes white the chases? Me and your daughter had to save your eye in from being roasted into a bag of chemicals. Well, we did save Jason, didn't we? And we also put the bad guys in jail. You know, I still like to have a living brother. That's the last time I'll go on and out of proportion eventual with a bunch of girls who always tend to put themselves in grave danger. I'll have you know that Toby is sick today, and she has asked me and Vic to temporarily help her with this case. Big ears, what about their little buddies? Are they sick too? Yep. Hmm. Hey, I bet Dennis Blair would be a great help. He could be our bodyguard. To Flood Kid, Dennis is taking care of his little sister, and I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up with the same infection. Especially after being around her. Well, old pal, I guess it's just you and me now. We'll get this solved one way or another. It's for Toby. Hey, Toby. Excuse me, Matt. Do you have any idea where we might be able to find the largest house with the big flowers? If you want to know, the biggest house I can think of is three blocks away past Wood River Heights. I know you will be back shortly. You won't make it out without having second thoughts about what you're getting into. You'll see, Matt. Come on, Vic. Let's get out of here. Oh, shit. Here we go again. May I help you, gentlemen? Hello, sir. We were sent here by someone to meet with them about something important. It's classified. Oh, yes. The lady of the house was expecting someone this afternoon. Please, come in.
Please wait here. She should be back in a moment. What the? Who are you two? And what are you doing in my house? Uh, th this is Vic, and my name's Jason. You are? But what are you doing in my house? I was just about to get to that. Vic and I got an anonymous message saying that someone needed help and told us to meet them at this place. Oh, that's a note. I left it on Detective once her name's doorstep last night. Where is she anyway? I'm afraid that she could not make it due to being out sick. That's why we're here. We're friends of Toby and we're trusted with the task of helping you. Toby, I would expect nothing else from her than to disappear. She has a boyfriend to do the work for her. She's not my girlfriend. It would be me. Also, why would you talk about Toby like that? What does she ever do to you? She always comes up with Tari Blatter instead of me. It gets on my nerves each and every time. Alright, since you're going to help me instead of Toby, I guess I should explain to you my dilemma. I suspect that someone wants to steal our precious family jewels, especially the pink diamond. They go back at least 20 years ago before my parents got married. It's one of their greatest treasures in their house. Where are the pink diamonds in their house? Do I look like I know the answer to that? I have no idea. My parents won't even tell me because it's top secret. You say the diamond's location is top secret, yet you look old enough for your parents to tell you where they are. My parents are out of an important business trip. They trust me enough that I won't be approaching their room looking for them. The butler looks out for me most of the time when my parents are away. Even he doesn't know where the jewels are. Can you give us the butler's name? His name is Parker. He and my mom split most of the daily curse that need to be done around the house. It's a shame that he's leaving. Wait, what do you mean? He plans on giving my parents his resignation letter very soon. I will miss him. We had good times together when he dropped me off at school. Has he shown you the resignation later yet? No, he just told me that he's leaving. It's not any of my concerns whether or not he gives me his resignation papers. Jason, I think we need to search the house. There could be something more that she's hiding. Something unusual that can help us advance the case. You're probably right. This is getting us nowhere. What's that supposed to mean? I am answering all of your dumb questions. Are you saying that you don't believe me? Look, Trish, we're not complete experts at this thing. Vic may have been around Toby a few times, but he's still learning. I'm just saying that we should look around and see what we can find. Fine. At least you're not in my house to get warm. But don't get comfortable once. Once this mess is sorted out, I'm kicking you both out. Just make sure to get the police and invite them in. I think we need to split up so we can search the house. What do you think? 
It's a good idea. We should get moving. You're not leaving me here by myself. I will be sticking with JC here. Is that what Tony calls you? Wait, what did I just say? Don't worry, Jason. I can handle this. Jeez, your family must love taking photos of themselves. Of course, Mom and Dad want to make sure they have every location in Greendale, so they can show where they have been. Especially when they have guests over. More like show-offs. Hmm, this one looks crooked. Don't you dare touch that one. That one is special. I'm just gonna fix it. Calm down. I literally cannot watch. Great. I wish I knew the lock combination. Hold on. I think I know it. Step aside, tall guy. What are you doing? I thought you were gonna hide them. We are going to hide them. My frost took me just someplace different where no one will ever suspect. Good idea. There's plenty of other hiding spots around here. I've heard about bad guys like this on the radio. You're snake eyes, and you're 88 teeth. Hey, those are good names. We were trying to come up with some good ones for a while. Okay, 88 teeth, take the girl. Okay, boss. I won't let you. You'll have to go through me first. Ma! <laughs> You've got guts, kid. Clobber him, 88 Eighth. Yes, boss. Ouch. You've got a lot of nerve to sneak up on us like that. Stop. Those diamonds are fragile. If there is even one blemish on them, you will suffer. Don't worry. They'll be handled with care. We'll be a long ways out of town before anybody will start fighting us. Okay, 88 Eighth? Let's put them away. Let's take a scenic tour of the house. <laughs> yes, sir. Hmm. Something about this place doesn't feel right. Hmm. Says here that he found a new job that suits him. And that's why he's leaving. Looks like this letter was written yesterday. He looks like he wants to go as soon as possible. Wait a minute. Why would he hide his own pocket watch in a towel? I wish Toby was here. He would probably know the answer to all of this by now. Mm, mm, mm. 
what does Toby usually say? Um, oh yeah. Jeeps, you made it! Thanks for getting us out of that scrap. There are two strangers in my house. They are making a mess on all the carpets with their shoes. Any progress so far, Vic? I was able to find the Bentley's resignation letter in a pocket watch as well. I wonder what he was doing in his towels. A pocket watch? That's a weird place to store jewelry. Right now, I think it's time we give those bad guys some payback. What do you say we teach them a lesson? And of course, I would love to give some payback right now. Hey fellas, I missed you guys so much. Oh, it's you again. Well, <laughs> you could send yourself this time. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> what we do, boss? Ah, shut up. Let's get him again. Guess if you want to get things done right, you just gotta do it yourself. Come on, get up, you idiot. We just gotta get moved before those kids call the cops. Oh, that felt really good. Ah! Let's get out of here! Who you done it, but I know you done it. Now let's see who these two men in suits really are. Oh my gosh, it's my butler Parker and his partner Stefano. How could you do this to me? Drat! I thought this heist would make a good payoff. Oh, good show, Patricia. Good show. Drop! Double drop! Blaster kicks! If you weren't at this house, we could have been rich! Ah, silence, Stefano. Don't get yourself in more trouble than you already are. Yesterday I observed a uh, red Ford Explorer that's coming out of one of our known, uh, or one of our drug areas of the hotels. It was easy once we found Parker's resignation letter. He was trying to quit his job as the house butler so he could run away after stealing Thornwood family jewels. He also found the pocket watch. He kept it in his towel because he thought it was very valuable. Definitely wasn't going to lose the watch that belonged to Miss Cornwood, except he could have made a better hiding spot for the watch. My butler was going to run away with his friend Stefano when he finished robbing our house. That is until Jason and Vic arrived. So they tried to make a plan to get rid of us and by themselves some time. But they were in too much of a hurry. They realized they needed to get out of the house as soon as possible. They only got Trish and I while Vic was able to get more evidence.
I lit him up, and it, it took him probably about a solid 15, 20 seconds to actually pull over. At least my family jewels are now seen. Hey, wait now. You should be thanking us. Without me and Vic here, you would probably still be stuck in that closet. You did your job. All I have to do is tell my parents. That's not what the newspaper will be saying. Just admit it. You are happy we solved this case. Just say thank you or something. God, thank you for all your help. I guess. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? I don't want to find two. I cannot wait to report all of this to Toby. Me neither. <coughs> oh no. What did I tell you? I knew you were going to be in some trouble. Give it a rest, man. Me and Vic solved the case without your help. You should be thanking me also. Achoo! Give me all the Oreo cookies in the basket and I promise not to breath any of this to mom and dad. Deal. It seems that you have visitors, Jason. Hey guys, what are you doing here? We thought we would come by and check on you. You probably don't want my boy germs. I think Patricia got me sick. She must have thought it'd be a nice parting gift. That's what you expect from Trish. How would you fatigue our detective work on yesterday? Vic told me everything. You two did an excellent job. Of course, getting caught was not part of the plan, but you both managed to pull it off, literally. I guess that means that the butler did it. So, does that make me an official detective now, or what? If you say so, at least now you know what to do if you're with me on another case. That's good. Now I know what you go through on a daily basis with these cases. Do you mind if I have an Oreo? I'm sure my brother won't mind. Hatsu! Poor Jace. Looks like Trish gave him a handful after putting up with him. But more importantly, her family jewels have been recovered, and the bad guys are now in prison. So what kind of other mysteries await us? And what brand new dangers await us as well? Oh well, as always today, danger is my homework!